hello. Rise and shine, little vampire. How are you feeling? Does your body still hurt because of the transformation? Oh, you spent so many hours agonizing in pain while you were turning into a vampire. It got a little boring after five hours of your screaming and thrashing around. I almost thought you wouldn't make it, you know. You took your sweet time, didn't you? <sighs> of course. The first thing that comes out of your mouth after finally waking up, when I've been deprived of your company for so long, is an insult towards me. <laughs> Where are you? Well, in one of my mansions, of course. Yes, that's right, I did say one of them. You're in the dungeon of one of my mansions, to be more specific. I brought you here while you were turning. I know you probably aren't happy with this cell and chains around you and all of this mess, but it is necessary. I knew that you would try and escape as soon as you opened your pretty little eyes. So I had to make sure that that would not happen. I can't, after all, have my sweetheart roaming the streets, can I? Besides, it's day right now. If you tried to go out, you would burn to ashes. You know, I do like a little bit of pain, but not at that level. I imagine you feel the same. Even if you do like it rough. Hmm. <laughs> hmm? You want to know how long I plan on keeping you trapped here? Well, why would you like to know? Oh, is it because you can't wait to wrap your arms around my gorgeous body? I bet it is. <laughs> More like wrap your hands around my neck. Oh, darling. I can work with that. <laughs> It won't be a problem for me. Anywho, I am going to keep you here until you start to behave for me. I cannot very well show you off to the other vampires if you're not being nice and obedient after all. I have only one rule. For the people that I turn. Obey me. At all times. Whatever I tell you, you do. You cannot question it. You just smile and do it. But I am already aware that you are quite unruly. So while you're here, I will be training you and working to convince you to obey me. Hmm. I can already picture it. Oh, it will be so fun to tame you. After you're trained, I'll let you get out of here. You still will be under my constant supervision until I can fully trust you. 
but it sure is better than being trapped in here. Don't you agree, my love? Did you just call me an ugly psycho? <sighs> I am not ugly. Why, I was the most handsome man in my village when I was human. And then, after I was turned, I was the most handsome man at my creator's castle. Oh, and about the psycho part. People have called me worse, so you'll have to step up your game on that one, darling. Oh, please. You still don't understand the situation you're in, do you? Love, you're not a monster hunter anymore. You're a monster. And you're my darling now. My sweet pet. My honey. Mine. Your days of hunting are over now. From now on, you will only kill to feed yourself, or when I tell you to kill. The sooner that you accept that, the better this will be for you. As I said, you're not getting out of this cell until you behave how I want you to behave. Yes, yes, sure. You're gonna regret this, I'm gonna make you pay for this. Everyone always says the same things. <sighs> so boring. I really did think that you would be different. Now, shut up so I can ask you something. Are you thirsty? You must be starving, aren't you? Don't worry, I have something for you. Da, da, da. A blood bag. Uh, fresh blood from a human's vein is better, but I don't think that you deserve that quite yet. So, I got you this instead. Drink it. That's the first order that I'm giving you. You won't. <sighs> you know, I was expecting you to refuse, sure. But somehow it still annoys me all the same. However, I want to be a good partner for you. So I will try again. <clears throat> My darling, could you please drink? Drink this blood bag that I got for you. It's for your own good, I promise you. <sighs> Gods, you are so frustrating, and stubborn, and impossible. I even said, please. I have never said please to anyone before you. And you still won't comply. 
<laughs> Do you really think that you can starve yourself to death? Vampires cannot die of starvation. The only thing that will happen if you don't feed is that you'll start losing your mind because of the thirst. You will go feral, and one way or another, you'll end up drinking the blood that I give you, because you'll be so out of your own mind, you won't even think about trying to resist it. Actually, you won't think about anything at all. A monster's hunger will always Speak louder, my dear. But you don't care, do you? You don't believe what I am saying. So you're going to try it anyway. I am sorry, love, but I refuse to let you stop. I don't want to see your beautiful visage turn into a completely savage beast. You simply don't know how unsightly something like that could be. I hate unsightly and unattractive things. What am I going to do? <laughs> well, I will feed you myself, of course. Now, isn't that romantic? Open your mouth. Open your mouth right now. Oh, 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 that's it. That's it. Here, drink it. Drink everything. That's it. That's it. Now that you've finally tasted the blood, you don't seem so eager to resist anymore, do you? I told you, your hunger will always win the battle, every time, for all eternity. Don't you dare call me disgusting. You're the one who drank that entire blood bag, and you even made a mess all over your clothes and all over the floor. <sighs> if anything, you're the disgusting one. You're just as disgusting as me. The perfect match, wouldn't you agree? <laughs> yes, yes, I forced you to drink it, but only in the beginning. After that, you took over the bag yourself and drank it until the very last drop. Leave you alone? 
Why? Why? I like seeing you all covered in blood. I told you that before. It makes me heart <laughs> excited. Let me enjoy this view. <laughs> okay, okay. No need to throw the empty bag at me. I'm almost done here, so I will leave you soon. For now, that is. You are all dirty. I will have to bring you some water and new clothes. Or would you like to spend the rest of the day like this? <laughs> yes, that's what I thought, sweetie. Hmm. I must say, I'm impressed with how strong you are. You were able to take this blood bag right out of my hands. Even though you were chained up like this. Of course, you're still not stronger than me. So don't even think about trying anything stupid. But you are probably stronger than many vampires who've been around for decades. It's rare, but sometimes it happens that a newborn vampire is stronger than the older ones. Don't let it get to your head, though. I am the only one allowed to be cocky around here. <laughs> ah, you have no sense of humor. Always looking at me with these faces of yours, as if I had said something stupid. You had better start smiling and laughing more if you want to get out of here faster. If you do smile for me, right now, I'll bring you more blood. I may even bring you a human, so you can taste fresh blood. It is so much better than blood bags. What? Well then fuck you two. I am very tired of your insolence. Come here. Come here right now. What? What is it? Hmm? Are you mad that I'm grabbing you by your hair? Are you mad that you can't do anything about it? Or are you actually turned on? You freak. Something deep inside tells me that you like this. You like the things that I told you. You like the things that I do to you. You like me. I know. I know you do. You like me. And soon, very soon, you will love me. Oh, shut up. Don't say that you hate me. It's not true. Shut up and just give me a kiss. 
That's my second offer for you. You can't deny me. You don't have a choice. You're mine, so I can kiss you if I want to. Whatever, wherever, and whenever I want. You are mine. You're mine. Only mine. 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 <clears throat> Ouch! Did you just bite me? You just bit my lips. Damn it! Of course you did. That's so like you. I forgot how you like to do things. Let's get even, shall we? Hmm. Hmm. Now how do you like that? It's not nice in the receiving end, is it? But then again, that's what you probably enjoy, isn't it? Relax, my love. I will do for you all the things that you enjoy but are too shy to tell me. Is that why you provoke me so much? You want me to be more aggressive. But you're too shy to ask for it. Yes. Yes, of course. That's it. That's why you can say you hate me. You don't actually hate me. How could anyone? You just want me to be more dominant. Now it all makes sense. Now, I understand. Gods, you are too cute. Don't worry, darling. We'll have so much fun while you're here. I promise. Oh. Poor thing. You really think that you have a choice. You say that you're never going to submit to me. But I told you to drink that blood bag that I gave you, and you did. <laughs> I told you to kiss me, and even though you pretended you didn't want to, we kiss. Think about it. Even if you don't want to submit to me, do you really have many other options? <laughs> Maybe you're already a slave to all my wants, and you just don't know it yet. Maybe you do know, and you just don't want to admit it. Anyways, I'll go away now. You seem to need some alone time to reflect on your behavior and this new revelation. <laughs> I'll be back in a few hours. 
you didn't smile for me, but I did get a kiss in the end, so I will bring you more blood. Farewell, my love. Don't miss me too much. <laughs> yes, yes, you hate me. Sure. Well, I love you too, little vampire. Ha, 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 